Good afternoon. Uh, have you guys uh, had the sim game yet? Has Strasbourg pitched already? Oh, it's at three o'clock. Right after oh. I talk to you guys. <laughs> then I guess I can't ask you how we look. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're anticipating everything to go smoothly. Um, but we're going to stretch them out, you know, uh, try to get them uh, through about 60 pitches. Okay. And I mean, is your sense that um, he gets through this, you know, assuming everything's fine, that he then just slides right back in and that it, it should be a normal camp the rest of the way for him? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, he was up to uh, up to this calf um, stint. He was doing awesome, I and mean, he felt good. Uh, arm felt good. So uh, hopefully, we'll get him through this today, and he feels good tomorrow. And then we'll get him back. You know, in the rotation. Um, with the off days that are coming up, and a little bit of the finagling you had to do here the last few days, uh, are, are you going to be able to get guys starts that you want the rest of the way, or are there going to be some other? days you might have to have guys pitch on a backfield or, or on an off day, something like that. Yeah, I think at this point, um, you know, we've been, we've been getting a lot of work even in our off days with guys throwing. So, but at this point, we'll see how it goes. Uh, we may have to have some kind of inner squad game on uh, or sim game on, on uh, Monday. Um, but we'll get through, we'll get through today, tomorrow, and then we'll see where we're at. Uh, you know, the next couple of days will be both Scherzer, Corbin, um, and then we'll see how, how it plays out from there. Are there questions for Davey? Jesse Dougherty, Washington Post. Hey Davey, um, just looking at tonight's lineup, you're splitting up Schwarber and Bell with Castro. You've done it twice now. Just curious if like that's something you are just testing out because you just breaking up Two lefties. Uh, I know Bell's a switch hitter, but breaking up the left-handed guys against righties, or kind of what, what's your thinking there? Yeah, I'm just yeah, I'm just trying to, like I said, you know, I'm messing around a couple of different lineup options. Um, I kind of, you know, I want to see what uh, Castro looks like in front of Schwarber. Castro's another guy, like I said, he puts the ball in play, I get on base uh, for Schwarber. So um, I just want to see what that looks like moving forward. Uh, it's no definitive, but um, you know, right now I did it, you know, I did it a couple of times. I kind of like it, but we'll see what happens. I mean, these guys are all, uh, as you know, they're, they're all, all of them are going to be in the middle of our lineup somewhere. Uh, what, we, how we do it, you know, can change at different times, but um, I'm just trying to, you know, just see what options we have. Kyle Schroeder mentioned wanting to hit lefties better when we talked to him early in spring. Has he done anything particular, whether it's with K-Long or you've seen in his approach to maybe, um, Kind of change against lefties at all to try and, and, and shift his his results there? Yeah, I, I think the biggest part, you know, he's a really good fastball hitter, regardless if it's left-handed or right-handed. We want him to hit off the fastball. You know, um, a lot of times as a left-handed hitter, when you face a lefty, you start playing guessing games thinking, you know, you're going to get sliders, curveballs. You just want him to go up there and look for the fastball. He's really good at hitting fastball. So I know he's worked with, uh, he's been working with K-Long on just trying to stay on the fastballs and not try to do a whole lot with them, you know, stay in the middle of the field. Uh, and, you know, like I said, the other day, he hit a 96 mile an hour fastball uh, over the right fielder's head off a of lefty. So that, that's a good sign. And then uh, another topic, Are, is this when you start to get the um, relievers you're going to expect to have for opening day, you start to get them maybe back to back um, two out of three days kind of deal. Is that the next week here where you're going to be testing that? Yeah, I mean, you, you saw some, some of the stuff already, you know, uh, again, guys, uh, to throw, uh, you know, multiple innings. Uh, we'll right. start seeing guys throwing, you know, getting four outs uh, back to back days. So uh, you'll start seeing that here uh, fairly soon, um, especially with some of our, 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 our bigger uh, relief pitchers are back in the bullpen, guys. Thank you. Jessica Camarado, MLB.com. Hey, Davey, any word on how Lester was feeling today? Hey, it feels good. Um, he, he went through his workout. He said he had no issues. So uh, that's awesome. You know, so his next next outing, we'll try to push him and get him through, uh, you know, at least four innings and uh, see, see how he feels then. In the lineup, it looks like you have Swihart backing up Schwarber. Uh, what did you want to see from him in, in the outfield? I just want, you know, he's a guy that, you know, when we signed, we, we knew he could play multiple positions, trying to get some reps you know, out, out there and see what he can do out there. Um, here's another guy that's pretty interesting for us. You know, he, uh, 
especially in the catcher position, but the fact that he can play, you know, left field, right field, uh, play a little third base and some first base, that's huge, you know, especially in the National League with so, so many moving parts. So I just want to get, get him out there and get some reps out there. Also, uh, speaking of catchers, anything new on Wellington Castillo? He's still uh, still nursing his shoulder. Um, I know he's he's thrown quite a bit. He just doesn't feel like he's ready to uh, to throw their bases yet. So um, we're kind of just hoping that you know uh, in time he'll get better um, because I mean he's a he's a veteran catcher that's playing this played in this league for a long time and uh, those guys are hard to come by. So we just want to make sure that he's ready. Thank you. Maria Torres, The Athletic. Still on that um, injury front or potential injury front, uh, Will Harris hasn't pitched in a while. Is he okay? Will Harris um, is going to see a, a doctor here soon. He's He's got um, issues with a uh, blood clot in his right arm. So uh, he's scheduled to go see a doctor. So um, I don't know the, the gist of what's going to happen or what's going to go on. So as soon as we know more, I'll definitely let you know. Um, he felt he felt weird his last outing, so we kind of backed off a little bit. Um, got an MRI, uh, and they found this little small blood clot. So he's going to see a specialist. Is he? How's he feeling, like spirits he's, wise? He's, he's pretty pretty upbeat considering you know what's going on. So um, you know, hopefully uh, we'll know more sooner than later, and then we can determine what's going to happen. Um. Rogelio Armenteros, is there any update on him? So he's just, he's uh, throwing, you know, uh, just flat ground a little bit, um, throwing up to 90 feet. So once again, you know, he's his a guy at you know, Kansas Spring Training. I felt something, so we just want to kind of take it slow. Um, you know, we feel like he can help us somewhere along the line, so we want to make sure we build it up the right way. Um, did you see your, your bobblehead? Have you had a bobblehead before? Yeah, I've seen my bobblehead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, gay, nay. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I I don't look much into it. I, you know what I do? I do like I'm holding a World Series trophy. That's kind of nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, on, on a really different topic now. Um, with with Kiboom, um, how what have what kind of work has he been doing? Is there anything extra that he's been up to lately? I, he's, he's He's work. I mean, he's working, um, working a lot. You know, just on, on all aspects of the game, really. But working on defense with with Bogey and um, working on sitting with K Long and, and, and Six. So um, he's putting the time in. You know, he's uh, see him in the cage a lot. Uh, see him talking through some things. So um, he's putting all the time in. You know, now we we just hope that it transforms in a game form. When you see like someone have like LASIK surgery, usually that kind of means that they'll be in proving as far as like what he can see. Have you noticed any kind of differences in terms of his timing and his uh, pitch recognition, anything like that? Uh, you know, I think it's, I think it's a little better. You know, he's laid off some pretty tough pitch, especially breaking balls. Um, you know, I never dealt with that kind of stuff, you know, when, when it comes to the eye stuff. So, uh, you know, I know his, his timing right now, it seems like it's, it's just a tick off, you know, and he's, I know he's been trying to get ready early and I'm being on time. So, uh, hopefully, you know, that'll come here really soon. Thank you. Okay. Jesse Doherty. Hey, Davey, just quickly on Harris, is he is he staying down here to see a specialist or is he going elsewhere? No, yeah, he's going, he's going elsewhere. He's going to uh, see Dr. Thompson. Um, and hopefully we can schedule out real soon. It's in St. Louis. But he's, he's, been Louis. Guy, yeah, he's been a guy that's, that's um, seeing everybody with, with something like this. Okay. And you expect that to be in the near future when he uh, gets up there? Waiting, yeah, we're waiting to hear back, see when we can get him in. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Mark Zuckerman. I know you don't know much now, but when you hear something like that, as opposed to, you know, a, a traditional baseball type injury, what goes through your mind? What, what is your concern level for a guy when you hear something like that? Yeah, it's, it, for me, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's hard, you know, because you don't know what, you know, I don't, I don't medically. I don't know what the extent of, you know, that is, but I know it's it's something that it's serious. You know, we, we need to take take care of it, take care of it as soon as possible. So, you know, and I feel for for Will, uh, you know, because I know he was, 
just working it, working his tail off to, to you know help us this year. I mean, uh, here's another guy that's man. He's 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 a workhorse. You know, a guy that throws 70 plus innings. You know, in the full season every year. So um, I just hope that you know that like I said that, that um, when the doctor does see him, we can take care of it and get him back as soon as we possibly can. You know, I don't like I said I don't know the extent of what's going to happen. Um, so we'll wait and see what happens. Not that it's first on your mind, but when you hear that and you kind of get over the initial reaction to that, do you start thinking about, okay, what does this mean from a baseball standpoint and, and bullpen construction? Yeah. You, you know, I often think about him a lot because of, um, not because of him one and also two, you know, uh, the rest of the bullpen guys that, you know, that look up to him and, and, and he was going to be a part of a big part of the bullpen. Um, but, you know, I feel like right now we have some guys, uh, I definitely uh, could step up, you know, fill fill his role. I mean, it's going to be a tough role to fill, but um, you know, we got some guys that are throwing the ball well, so um, these guys are all going to uh, have to pitch well. Especially, you know, we'll have to figure out, you know, which guy is going to help pitch in the back end of the bullpen. Could be Suero, could be Finnegan, uh, could be someone else. But um, you know, we we got the good thing is, as I said before, there's depth that we have this year, so that's kind of nice. So um, you know, we still got couple of weeks left, you know, I'm seeing a lot of different guys, guys are starting to uh, tune it in um, and starting to see some really good, good uh, baseball, good strike throwing, uh, getting important outs, getting ground balls when they need them. So, um, you know, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far in camp. Maria Torres, The Athletic. This is not related to Will Harris. Um, noticed on TV yesterday that Steven Fuentes was like really giddy, um, just finishing out that game. What have you like noticed about him this spring? And um, is there anything else we should know about him? No, he's just, uh, he's, he's, a, he's, he's super fun. Yeah, he loves the game. Um, not afraid. That's one thing for sure. I mean, this is like the third time he's been there, been out there in the ninth inning. Um, and he's just not afraid. He wants the ball. He attacks the strike zone. Throws a lot of strikes. Um, you know, so far, I love what, what I see out of him. You know, he's, a, he's another guy. I know he's pitching late in games for us, but I think in, in the future, I'd like to lengthen him out as well uh, and uh, possibly get him, you know, to be a starter for right now. Uh, we can always change him if need be and, and put him in the bullpen, but uh, I love, love his attitude. You know, he comes in ready to work every day and has fun doing it. Thanks. Jessica Camarado. Maybe this is a, this is a big hypothetical question, but going back to Will, if Will weren't available for a period of time, would that impact how you approach like one individual closer versus sticking with the closer by committee approach? Like, is there a certain number of guys that you would want available to do a closer by committee thing? Like, if that makes sense? Yeah, you know, I, I think, you know, at the start of the season, you always think of one or, or possibly two guys that can close out games. You know, right now, one being Brad Hand. You know, we, you know, we got Brad Hand to close out games. There'll be some scenarios, which, like I, said, I talked about earlier, where we feel like in the eighth inning is a big opportunity for us uh, to shut the team down where he fits the bill. Uh, so that makes that makes Huddy, you know, uh, that could close out games, and also Rainey. You know, I think Rainey, um, I think Rainey, a healthy Rainey, uh, could do the same thing, close out some games for us as well. So, you know, we got three guys. For me, that potentially could close out games. Would I love for Brad Hand to be the closer every day in the ninth inning? Absolutely. If that works out the way it does, awesome. You know, but once again, as you know, you know these guys are going to need a day. Uh, so we got to find that balance. You know, I got to find that balance of who to use the day that we can use Brad Hand. You know, it could be Huddy, it could be Rainey. You know, um, you know, it could be. Finnegan, for all I know, I don't, you know, we don't know yet, but I, 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 what I like about Finnegan and, and, uh, and Suero is that they've shown me a lot this spring about their maturity and what they're trying to do. So, um, and they look good, you know, as, as we all know, I can't judge on spring training. I, I never have. Um, so when the season starts, you know, we'll see how this plays out. And also a last question from me, how did you decide on Espino being the starter today? Just he's another guy for me that, you know, if, per se, something was to happen. Um, um, yeah, he, this is a guy that we, we look to, to to bring up maybe and fill, fill the void. Um, you know, I, I like Espino, he throws strikes, 
He's a veteran guy. He knows how to get house. He doesn't give in. Um, so um, we want to get him out there and kind of get him, get him a start, get him stretched out a little bit and, 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 uh, and take a good look at him. Thanks. Yeah. Howard Fendrich, Associated Press. Hey, Davey. Um, on Will, I'm just trying to, I guess, get a sense of how serious this could be. Um, I mean, in terms of first and foremost, his health from that perspective, uh, I mean, I guess, you know, I don't want to read too much into like the tenses you're using in terms of past tense or whatever, but it, you're kind of making it sound like, you know, he's not going to be starting the season with you guys and maybe gone for longer than that. I, but I don't want to blow it out of proportion if it's not that kind of a thing. I'm just trying to understand. Yeah, and I, I, you know, I don't, if I'm come across that way, I apologize. Like I said, I don't know much about what's going to happen here. Um, but for me, when somebody mentions, you know, something like that, it's kind of a, you know, scary deal, you know, until we know more about it, then, you know, I, I got to look, you know, and assume that he's going you know, to not start with us this season, you know, and plus he missed some time. So, um, but like I said, until we get uh, a, a clear understanding of what exactly is going to happen, you know, I can't comment on it, you know, as sure. much as what I know now. Okay, thanks. Yeah.